Lara Auerbach is a composer, pianist, and poet who defected from the Soviet Union when she was 17. She's been commissioned to write everything from opera and ballet to chamber music. Recently, she gave the world premiere performance of her latest set of preludes at Caramore. I, I don't really miss Russia anymore. In fact, when I go there now, uh, I could not imagine living there because my uh, really development as an artist and as a person happened here, uh, happened in America. So when I go there, I really don't, don't belong in a way. Of course, I, I, what I miss is the language because especially being a writer and writing in Russian, uh, I miss hearing Russian language on the street. But uh, overall, uh, New York is my home and America is my home. I love playing my own music because um, in a way I know exactly what I want, but it's also very interesting to look at the music of another composer through composer's eyes and in a way to see what the other different choices that went into the notation of a musical composition. Sometimes um, my interpretations of the standard repertoire is very different, are very different from um, other pianists because I try to um, get away from the tradition of uh, each piece. Recently, someone asked me to describe my music in one word, which I found uh, very uh, interesting and very challenging. And the first word that uh, came to my mind was word fearless. I really fell in love with the form of 24 Preludes because it's really unlike anything else in music. The challenge of going through all the major and minor keys and all the different um, characters, colors, uh, sonorities that lie within each tonality. Um, and it's really fascinating to discover those in our modern times. Sometimes one prelude can be less than a minute long, but also a very large piece because all together they form one large composition with its own form. So you have challenges of both very miniature and very big uh, structure. And uh, so I really fell in love with this structure. And when I finished writing 24 preludes for piano, I, I just couldn't stop. And I had to write more and I wrote uh, 24 preludes for violin and piano. And then I felt really warmed up and I wrote 24 preludes for cello. Stravinsky used to say I'm writing for myself and my hypothetical ego, but ultimately music is an art of communication and uh, uh, it's very important to me that what I do reaches the audience, moves it. I think if a member of the audience comes to my concert and leaves as the same person, he or she just wasted two hours as far as I'm concerned.